Hello YouTube land! My name is Kestel Caden and we are playing Minecraft. Today we are going to be going over a spotlight on Optifine. Now for those that have seen my gameplay videos, I recommend it. It's one of the first mods that I install. Quite simply. And if you are interested in how to install it, I do have a tutorial on my channel, so do check that out. It should be in the annotation above as well, so just keep that in mind. First and foremost, what is Optifine? Hey, this is a good time to show it off. As you can see, the weather just disappeared. What was that about? It's because of Optifine. Anyway, so, Optifine does a couple things. It gives you full control over your game. Simple as that. Not to mention that, but it also gives you the ability, if you're one of the unfortunate souls to have a low frames per second, to in fact not have low frames per second anymore. That's right, it will, in chances are, depending on your settings, depending on your computer, depending on your hardware, it has a strong possibility to increase your frames per second, especially while doing things like recording. It doesn't use nearly as much CPU power, which is nice, especially seeing as Minecraft is Java-based. And we all know what Java likes to do. Eat CPU. Nah. <laughs> anyway, going into the options, you will notice that your video settings are bombarded with a whole bunch of settings. Right, right. So we have different types of things like chunk loading, which we can change around. I prefer to leave it on multi-core, but I mean, I have six cores, so eh, whatever. And this will reduce the stuttering by going between chunks. If you remember, remember my uh, Minecraft Let's Play where I used to go across a bridge and it would, you know, lag me a little bit. Enabling that option would have disabled that or would have completely got rid of that lag. I didn't notice this option until recently, and man, did it make a difference. If you don't have a lot of cores, I do suggest maybe smooth or default. I mean, they still help. Fog is a nice setting. It really is. As you can see here, it's starting to get all foggy. Oh, and guess what? Zooming with control. That is a benefit of Optifine. A lot of people have been asking why and how can I zoom and they can't. Well, Optifine is your answer this mod right here. I will leave a download to the forum post down below. Anyways, going off, you can actually change this to fancy to make it smoother looking, which is actually really nice. I'm going to disable it for now. You can go into details. You can change specific details on different things. You can make trees fancy loading, and it will change. As you can see here, you can see through these, which shows that it's fancy. If I were to specifically change this to default, it would be solid. You can have full control over exactly what's fancy, over exactly what's default, etc, etc, which is nice. You can also turn off the sun. Hey, where did the sun go? So if that sun is very distracting for you, or if you have a texture pack where you just hate the sun but love everything else, you can do just that, which is nice. You can even disable or enable sky and clouds, etc., etc. You can even change the height of the clouds. So on, at this moment, with my texture pack, it won't exactly work. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you something else. You can change texture packs directly inside Optifine, which is awesome. It might take a couple seconds to load, depending on the texture pack, but guess what? It's here. It is here. So now going back to the detail, we can change clouds to completely off. We can change them specifically to, you know, default or fast. Let's change it to fancy and let's change the cloud height. You can move the clouds way up there, although there will be some graphical glitches along with that. So just keep that in mind. Don't max it out unless you just really want to affect certain aspects of the game. Now, it really depends on the texture pack itself, though. Some texture packs will not have that graphical glitch. With default, they only have a certain length of cloud. And that's, I think, what it comes down to. Anyway, you can change the quality. I wouldn't necessarily do too much here, in all honesty. Although, guess what? You can even change your anti-aliasing directly within Minecraft. It does require a restart, though. So, do keep that in mind. You can have custom fonts, you can have a whole bunch of other stuff too, which is nice. It really, really is. Especially with connected textures being fancy. Oh, so much fun. You can also change the animation. You can pretty much animate or stop animations of everything, which is really, really nice. Best detail of all, though, 
I will not lie. You can turn the weather off. You have no idea how much I love that. You will not see weather at all, which is nice. So you know how snow can sometimes be very laggy in snow biomes or rain be laggy? You can turn them off. Simple as that. <laughs> no word of a lie. It's all right there. And pretty much everything... It really gives you full control over your Minecraft, so if you haven't installed it, I do suggest you do. It is one of the first mods that I install regardless. Whether I use Mod Loader, whether I use Forge, whether I don't bother with mods at all, I install Optifine. It's as simple as that. So I hope you guys have found this beneficial. I hope you guys did enjoy this mod spotlight. Leave a like down below, comment, subscribe to my channel if you love me. And yeah, ask questions. I will answer them for you. Until next time, guys. Keep modding.